Well, I will say you look absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Well rested. Thanks. I try. And you said all of us are are guilty of this issue that's in the group, including myself, which you said including yourself, correct? No, so, what I said was okay. there's a colorism issue in the group. Mm -hmm. We've all experienced it, and everyone has a say. Everyone has a part. Mm -hmm. When I said, when you said, are you talking about me? Yes, I'm talking about you. You experienced a colorism issue where the woman attacked you involving your children, and it was a big ordeal, and you've experienced a colorism issue in this group. And remember I asked you, I said, oh, gee, educate me, educate us all, and tell us what you consider colorism. Because you also said, well, you can't say, get your black ass over here. I didn't say you can't say, get your black ass over here. I said, when you say that, yes, you it is a form of colorism, and it starts at an early age. And then I gave the example, if a person who was not black said, get your black ass over here, or wake your black ass up, it would be a problem. So if we have, a, as a black community, have a problem with somebody else who's not black saying, get your black ass over here, or wake your black ass up, but we can say that to our friends, our family, and our children, that's a part of the problem. Well, I get what you're saying, OG, but my thing is, and I'm not arguing that, like, you know, as a community, we might say, oh yeah, that's my nigga, this and that, but we, we do, as a community, and I'm not putting words in people's mouth, we get offended if someone else, there's two ways to say it, I think. It's a way to say it in a, with a, you're a nigga, or a nigger, and then there's a way to be like, oh yeah, that nigga was having, it's, it's, it's really a touchy thing that I've never, you know, we know when something is, is that way, it's like, oh my God, I think that was racist towards me, that that person drove down the street and said, you nigger, that's this well, I, I personally don't use else. the word. Don't I feel that I have did this colorism thing too. I just need to be clear with you right now. Like I said, and I'll say it again, I think that um, there are the people who are treating me differently and then the people who are allowing it to happen. Okay. And again, I will explain that if you allow something to happen and you know it's wrong, in my opinion, you are just as guilty as the person who is committing the act. I'll say it again. If you are present and you know something is wrong and you're in allowing it to happen, you're just as guilty as the person committing the act. That's my experience. That's my opinion. No one has to agree with me. I think that it takes a strong person to say, hey, this isn't right and let's fix it. Not, hey, I know this isn't right, but let's fix it in a convoluted way. So. For me, for me, I'm not going to force anyone to do anything. I've been open to conversations. I have answered a million and one questions. I don't think that I should carry the weight of educating women, some of which are 10, 15 years my senior. I think everyone should be able to teach other people. I shouldn't be the only one who has to educate somebody. I'm tired of that, and that's not fair. I should be able to also learn from people and I don't think that it's conducive to try to tell someone, okay, meet halfway, but I'm the only one giving halfway. It's a two part deal. It's 50, 50. And right now it's literally 99, 1%. Right. And that 1% you is you trying to force them to come and come around. And I, I don't care either way. I'm going to continue to be myself. I'm going to continue to do what I feel is right. And I'm okay with moving forward without agreeing. We don't have to agree. That's crazy to say, you have to agree with me or we're, I'm not going to see you again. That's fine. If you want to be childish, that's fine. That's okay, fine. And, she, and you know what? No one's being childish. I, and like you said, first of all, I appreciate the fact that you said it's 1% of me and 99% of them not moving to me trying to play. I just said, that's, that's, that's just one of the biggest issues in this group, everybody has selective memory. I, I speak pretty clear and concise. I said 99% is me mm -hmm. being open, not them. 99% is me being open, and 1% is you trying to force them to be open. They aren't giving anything. That's the math. 99% is me, 1% is you. That means they're giving 0% effort. Did that is, and Malaysia come and sit in these That's chairs? different. If they would have came with the original premise that you told me Kristen was coming for to apologize when she came to ask me questions and tried to make it seem like I'm belittling her, that doesn't count. 
that's zero percent in my book because she did not come to apologize and she admitted that she she lured you allegedly she told you something different you got me to be open to hear her out and it was completely the opposite of what she said she was really coming for so to me that still shows Kristen in true form a manipulative person I don't need to be around a manipulative person I think that her her mentality and the way she treats people in her circle she's been getting away with it she's not a part of my circle she's not a part of my life so I'm not gonna let her be convoluted be nasty be conniving around me I don't care I was open I heard what she had to say I gave her multiple examples she's gonna take it back she's gonna twist it to her version to fit her narrative and I still don't care I've been clear I've been concise if it doesn't get translated appropriately that's on the person receiving the information there are plenty of times when I say something and it gets repeated back right away wrong I can't control how people receive stuff. Okay, well, when they come. I, I know Kristen came over here and it seemed like it was, uh, it was like a bunch of questions. It was like a Q and A, and you have just been like very snappy. Snappy, Jen. No, that's an that's a reach. I haven't been snappy, especially not to you. I was sitting here the other night. Jackie was yelling. I said, "Take your voice down." You chimed in a little bit. The other girl was yelling. At times, I raised my voice, too. Everybody was on edge. So don't just say, OG, you were snappy. I have never snapped at you about this subject at all. I've simply said, I don't really want to keep talking about it. Just as I did the first day, just as I did the second day. I did not snap at you. But if you feel I snapped at you, that's fine. Right. So, so just like you don't want us to tell you about your experience, I'm telling you what I said. I just agreed with you and said that's fine. Did yeah, you receive like that? You don't ever say how we can make it better. Jen, Jen, what do you want me? What do you want me to tell you guys to make it better when it's a self-revelation? Like I, I said it so many times when Kristen was present. This is an epiphany you have to have on your own. I'm not supposed to fix you guys to make you see what I see and make it better. You have to realize these things on your own. No, we're not. We're not. I'm not asking you to to help me feel better. I feel I'm fine, not, so I, that, that's I'm probably not, why I'm not, you're not receiving, you're telling me how can you make it feel better for me. I feel fine. I've moved on. I said it's been a, over a year, and I asked Kristen, why now? I said that. So if you guys you didn't, didn't receive, thank you. Let me, let me say this right here. You're saying you feel fine. I have not once These brought this women, subject up for the record. Huh? I have not once brought this subject up for the record. It's okay. been brought up, and I've addressed it because it's been brought up okay. and brought up. But OG. Do you understand? And you and I have had conversations. I asked you, would you be willing to speak to the ladies? You said yes. You came in open hearted, open minded, ready to talk, correct? Somehow or another, we have now come to a crossroads. They don't feel that you are. So what I, I what changed the first the first evening? Kristen came over desperately wanting to talk to me. And since then, everything changed. No, she no came surprise. Over Malaysia and did no, it again. she she came the first. She came with Malaysia for reinforcement. Let's not let's not be funny. Well, Malaysia she, she, wanted to come talk to you herself. And, and okay, well, she came with Kristen. They came as a two, and I thought they were going to come and play games and enjoy themselves. But immediately, it was we want to talk about this. And I, you can't force people to talk about something they don't want to talk about. The fact that I even acknowledged the conversation was me far past 50% meeting them halfway because if I don't want to talk about something anymore I don't have to if you want to talk I will listen they wanted to talk I was listening but then they wanted to ask me questions well what did, I'm not I'm, listen this is not a questionnaire this is not going to be a q and A. I I do not have to answer anybody's questions and if I completely say I'm done I'm done but I still haven't said that I said I will hear what they want to say still I have not heard a genuine apology and that's sad what do you, if they, I don't if even they, need one but that's sad that they can't figure out okay it's not okay to tarnish somebody's reputation it's not okay to label somebody an angry black woman I gave that example a hundred times and it's so sad that it hasn't resonated that's sad do you agree that calling them or saying that they committed colorism is doing I did not say that so again we're not going to be twisting the words well how did we get to this point we got to this point because they can't take the fact that I pointed out an issue in the group and it's gone worldwide we are in a pandemic okay we are dealing with people who are losing their lives over racism it should not take the death of somebody for you to realize that's not okay it should not take the world being shut down for you to recognize that's not right it should not take a president being racist for you to recognize that's not right if i pointed out an issue 
before this pandemic and now that it's magnified and now that the world is starting to see, hey, you know what? These women kind of are, are have an issue too. This should have been an opportunity for everybody to make this shit better. This should have been an opportunity for everybody to say, let's grow from this. Let's do a, a workshop. Let's do something. But instead, well, it's, you let's tell her. It could be somebody, it could be just you feeling that way. I don't care what it is. It's my opinion. If you don't agree with it, but, but we can disagree. Yourself, okay, well, whatever. It's what makes you want to continue to be around these right. women if you feel they can suck themselves in this way? I don't care either way. I've said that. I can be around all walks of life. It doesn't matter. If you're trying to convolutedly find a way to say something, just say it so we don't waste nobody's time. Yeah, you said, right? you could, I could ask both of you guys the same thing. What made you come to Amsterdam when you weren't welcome? What made you stay in this environment when it was just you and everybody was against you? You all have been through similar instances. So why don't you ask yourself, what did make me stay? Okay, well, we've been right? talking about but, this shit for a week. Yes, but the, this is the thing. What the fuck? I don't want my friend to stay in an environment, and I'm telling you I'll be without fine saying on it, my own. I don't want, and it's not on your own, OG. I just don't want you to it stay is. here because I'm Obviously, it's not where you want to be. Are you talking you, about stay in this group or stay, stay in this house? Stay around the group, I'll stay in the it. house, stay here, and I feel horrible. I did invite you here. I wanted my friend here. I think we, that you guys are all very, it's, 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 it's so obvious that this isn't okay for bottom line. And it's, what is the bottom line? Okay, my bottom line is not basketball-wise. I'm not, my bottom, I said the bottom line. I didn't oh, say okay. your bottom line. I didn't know. I didn't I, say I be your bottom line. I said I the bottom line. What's the bottom line? It doesn't matter. Okay. I, I'm fully aware of what's going on here. And at the end of the day, I, I don't think it is smart to keep beating a dead horse. I agree. I think that it's very wise to allow things to happen organically. I think that it is very wise to stop sneak attacking people, to stop forcing conversations, to, to, to create a better situation because honestly, it's making it worse if our friendship ends here i get it but i can't go further i don't want to go further i'm not gonna put this on no so you're woman pulling out as well i'm not Got only it. pulling out i don't know what to do it hurts my heart mm -hmm. it hurts my soul i begged you oh gee what can we fucking do jackie and you i said i would know. i said i would be open to talk I so what else you, she okay so then how is that my fault how is that my fault seriously how is that my fault Oh, gee. You tried to call her. I was open. So uh, point out my fault in that. If Shani was to say, for instance, so because she didn't. No, no. Hypothetically, if I got her on the phone right now, what would you say to her? We would have a conversation. Okay, if she said the same conversation she had with Mark, the same conversation she Mark had with Lamar two, Hill. yes, with two random girls. You're having conversations. If you have an issue with somebody, or you have a question, or you have a concern, you should direct that directly Girl, to the do person. Do you want Shani to get on the phone with you and talk about I something don't. she does not feel? I'm not saying you want her. I'm saying you would be wanting her to do it. Listen, she doesn't. She if didn't I do wanted this. anything, I would have. I would have said it in proximity to when all of this transpired again it has been a year and a half why now why now do you guys want to cover this subject why now okay, why we now we can't be around each other if this shit is an elephant in the room so you really think that's the reason why we're not around each other or is it because i'm being sued are you forgetting um, that somebody's suing no, me because are you forgetting that somebody's Malaysia suing me over here she's not but are you forgetting that anymore? somebody's suing me but Did I sue somebody? Are you forgetting that someone? I just want to know. Are you forgetting that somebody is suing me? So no. is and, and what are they suing me for? Do you know? Do you know what they're suing me um, for? You won't talk about. This. No, but okay. you saw you saw TMZ, so okay, you you no, know but you, you know. won't get in detail. But you know. I believe it's because you said a racist remark to her. I said a racist not, remark. I don't fucking. That's know not what it is. Okay. You okay. know why I'm not each other? Oh, you, everyone's oblivious. No one knows. I don't know. Okay, so I'll tell you guys. She's suing me because she posted a monkey emoji responding to one of my Twitter posts. It went viral and I said that posting a monkey emoji is racist. She's a racist and she's suing me for defamation for calling her racist. Now, how many of you guys have called somebody racist? Like, I don't know, Donald Trump. I don't know, uh, some random stranger that acted racist towards you. Are they suing you now? Are they suing you? Are they suing you? No, they're not. When Cece called her a racist straight to her face to millions 
of viewers did she sue cc or did she give cc apology that is my point right there and that's a part of the problem and you guys are making it seem like the problem is og because og doesn't want to no, beg no, to be no, in the no, circle no, og no, 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 og does not, like not beg no, for nothing that's, not that's what, what it I sounds see. like you guys are diverting the real problem, this is the problem that's right what it here, sounds OG like the other night for you to get on the phone with them i fucking called i swallowed my pride i said Kristen, can you push Shawnee? Who the fuck is it? First of all, I'm having to call Kristen because Shawnee ain't answering her phone. When Kristen says no, Shawnee doesn't want to, I read to you. Kristen's exactly not Shawnee's representative. What, what, whatever they got so, going on, I don't care they what do. Kristen says. The point is, Shawnee didn't want to get on the phone. She is done with it. She was going to come. She was so what that stopped close. her? So what stopped her? Kristen came okay, over. Perfect. You and her went, I'm glad. You and her, okay, but listen. I'm glad you said you that. You and her got into a little bit of words because you was like, well, Kristen, blah, blah, blah. But it still ended pretty good. Kristen left. was no blizzard. Mm. She comes back with Malaysia. They try again to talk to you. And your stance is, Agree I to disagree. to more, but I'm right here. Then they ain't even left the house before you get into it with the young lady, the new young lady, Mia. No, no, she got into it with me well, you guys and lied on it. me exactly. and inserted herself. She asked me a question once. I ignored it. She asked me again. I don't have to answer people's okay, questions. And I agree. Nobody has to answer anything they don't want to Golly. answer. My point is it was a long day. It was a stressful day. But... Shawnee's hearing, well, damn. That's OG is saying. saying this. Then I talk to you right here on this couch, and you go, my stance is not going to change. Jackie, Do you think she's going to want to talk? It's unfortunate that from what you're saying, you're telling me Shawnee has refused to talk to me because of everything another person has told her, and that is unfortunate for her. I, let me finish, mm -hmm. I have been open, ready, willing, and humbled to talk to her about whatever she wants to talk about and the fact that people are making decisions based off of somebody else's encounter is unfortunate I cannot control that I'm not mad I'm not happy I'm not sad I'm indifferent I don't care at the end of the day if you want to talk to me I'm still open yeah, they don't, okay they don't you mind. said that that's fine um, I'm, I'm still open because now we're at I'm a point open where you so, already know I, I get what you're saying it is what I, it is I hear what Jen's saying Jen do you want to say anything else or do you have anything else you want to add no, to it no, before I'm just I like the, it, it's just it's so combative so what's combative Jennifer okay you are now you're just playing you're uh, playing a role right now. So I'm, I'm uh, not yeah. playing a role. Okay, like, you, you went at it with me. I went when? You've been defensive with me. You been When did I go at it with you? You have been fighting with Jackie the whole time we've been here and I've been in the middle. I went at it with you. Now you're making stuff up. That's fine. Sip your wine. I'm not even going to get into I, it with you. I have been. I'm not shit up, OG. Jennifer. I have been at I'm it with the you. Only one that's seen it. Jen, you've oh, yelled at production, you've yelled at cast members, you've yelled at everybody, you've disrespected so many people. I have never been combative with you. You have been rude this entire time. You have been asked to be treated like a princess. Nobody says anything. Okay. We have sat here and listened to you talk about scam likely a hundred a million times. Yeah, we have sat here and listened it's to you. To be part two in a second. Like, it's really not like, because it's, you're it's making shit. stuff up oh, now. Shit. You're making stuff like, up now. It's better to just I'm step like, out because no. you're making stuff up Listen, now. I you're making stuff up now at this point, and it's no, really you're sad. Stuff up. I'm really you not. You are actually the one that is making stuff up. I'm not. Up, oh, I'm geez. really not. You Why are. are you yelling? You are. Why are you yelling? So you now you're gonna I'm tomorrow. You're gonna say I yelled, right? No, I'm okay. Okay, OG. okay Jennifer. To Nobody's trying to appease me. Yes, what are you are. saying? Yes, they have to get a whole other house for you because you didn't want to do a home shoot in your own house. Uh, no, because I don't trust people like you to know where I live. Because I don't trust people like you to know where I live. Uh huh. And I'm not trying to come to where you live at, cause I don't want to get shot up by some fucking crook. So anyway, okay. no, girl, that's you. Scam likely, girl. Jesus Christ. No, that's you. No, that's you, babe. You talking shit? I, I know you've been waiting to say that. It's just the, the truth comes out. Your true colors come out when you're when you're when you're. When you're your truth comes out when you're applied uh, when you apply the pressure. Your truth comes out. That's why that's why I don't trust you. That's why you've been begging. OG, trust me. I'm trying to give you support. I can't trust you because you're fake. Well, I'm not giving no more.
you're you you never did jennifer let's keep it 100 i'm not gonna dance around the subject you've never been 100 with me you've never been 100 with anyone in this group and you've been on an island and i've sat there and supported you like a real person okay. not fake i don't talk shit about you because i don't care you can talk all the shit you want your true colors come out everybody's seen it everybody's seen it so okay this is this, this very is unfortunate it's very it unfortunate and it's my fault now because no, she's lying go it ahead ain't, it ain't your fault it's <sighs> your fault i feel like we are at a crossroads and i did not when i planned this trip with evelyn i didn't want to come and i told you I, that I, so I, I, I totally get it so i'm saying <sighs> what do you want to see happen next because we can't go forward today is the final day to we, we can't I don't want to. So if, do you want to? I have wanna, nothing to say. Yeah, it, it, they don't want to talk anymore. They don't want to. And I've done everything I can do to the point where I've gotten into words with women because it's like, Jackie, you're not getting it. I'm getting it now. It's over. I think next time I will just go with my gut and not come since I didn't want to come to begin with. And I was just trying to honor your invitation. And I see that all my efforts are in vain so it's fine i don't really care however you choose to proceed forward you guys proceed forward and just yeah i'm going to continue to remain on the right Girl, side you know of history that's totally not fair to me to say what do you mean i should go with my gut and i was just trying to honor your invitation it's, i invited you and i wanted you here and i still want everyone here but it's not it's not going to work okay. we don't we can't so what, what do you want me to no. say I, I mean, I'm saying what I'm saying, and that's still not good enough. I don't know. What are you saying? They won't do it. Okay. You're saying it now. I was sitting here going, oh, I don't care, Jackie. These women Jackie, are getting I on don't, fucking I don't planes. Care. They're flying out. Bye. There's not going to be any more conversation. I don't care. See, that's what I mean. What you do you want me to do? You don't care. What am I supposed to fucking do? Jackie, you're care. telling me they don't care, so am I supposed to care when somebody doesn't care? They're saying they're tired, OG. Okay, so am I. They're I've been little, tired. Too little, too late. It's been It's been almost two years. Uh, it should have happened a year and a half ago. It hasn't, and now but they're you tired. Mean, you didn't even apologize to Evelyn. I don't owe her an apology. That's what I'm telling you. I do not owe her an apology. She is not black. Period. This I one has said. This that. one has said she's not black. She said, I'll be there for you in your lawsuit. I'll be a witness. And now she's changing her tune. She said that. She said a, she, it's a good time to check out. She said that I will be a star she witness. She said, oh, she's using my old attorney. This bitch that this bitch that I let her talk. I didn't even I didn't even subpoena her. I didn't even include her in the lawsuit because I didn't want to get in the middle of her bullshit. Now she's changing her tune and true to form. I've seen these characters. No Why are you yelling? Why are you yelling? You know, Why are you yelling? I'm not accusing anybody. I'm speaking facts right now. I'm speaking facts. You couldn't even answer the question because you know it's factual. What's the question? Did I you not OG. did you not say that you were gonna you wanted to help me with my case against Evelyn? Did you or did you not say that? Is I that a fair I statement? I wanted to help you because I knew you were agreeing to this situation. No, say, that's not what you said. I Thank God say, it's recorded. You I didn't did say that. that <laughs> you didn't. You didn't say I was green. You said that bitch is I fucked up. You. you said she done sued so many people. Yeah, maybe I did. I don't you know never remember what you say. That's the problem. Anyways, my point is this. My point is this. That's not true. I got plenty of 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 situations. Girl, them girls are trying to them girls are trying to make a spot. Them girls were plotting. You don't know nothing about them girls. They were plotting against me with another girl to try to get in this same situation, and now they're here. And because their other storyline is not available, they tried to come for me. And you thought because I had a case, I wasn't going to jump up out of my skin. And thank God I controlled myself because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, when this plane passes, when this plane passes, I'm gonna land, and that's gonna be it. At the at the end of the day, you guys you guys are used to each other going back and forth and hitting below the belt and then apologizing and then having a kumbaya moment and then moving on. I'm simply saying it's okay if we, I'm, I'm being real. I'm simply saying it is okay if we don't agree on something. What's one subject we don't agree on to the hundreds of subjects y'all don't agree on? I'm saying it's fine. If you don't see what I experienced, you know it's here. fine. Oh, <laughs> no, it's not because it happened before I was here and it's not that major because it's been happening in the world. So it, Jen, why were you in Amsterdam? Why were you in Costa Rica? Because I was asked to 
Why were you in San Diego? You, you're asking I questions you know the answer, but you, you're asking questions you know the answer to. So you sound okay, foolish. I, fucking franchise, so you, you, I don't care who started it. Don't it, it. I don't care who started it. I know. I let me not even hit below the belt. I'm not even gonna do yeah, you like that. It's not worth it. I'm not gonna do you like that. I'm not arguing with anybody. I'm not gonna do you like you do your friends of 20 plus years. I'm gonna take the high road and not hit below the belt because I know for a fact and I've seen evidence for a fact with your situation so I'm gonna leave okay, you with well, your wherever. situation so I'm gonna leave it right there is where? Out the door? no that's your high road and I, I don't allow people to keep throwing drinks in my face like a masochist and keep returning and okay. having a table thrown at me okay. and I keep returning it's and you so so the third the third example of a black woman I gave the one who's desperate for trying to fit in that's you that's you you want to fit in so bad you will allow them to throw a drink in your face you will allow them to throw tables in your face you will allow them to talk okay. shit about you and yet you still keep returning so who's the masochist you or me okay, you, you. thank you so anyways jackie if she's she's saying you said she you don't want me here is that is that, is, that is, she, is, is she speaking for you truly i don't, I don't as you're a strong woman why why are you wanting to continue this None I didn't say anything about continuing anything. I said do whatever you want to do. If the trip's over, the trip's over. The if trip's the trip's over. gonna go on, the trip's gonna go on. I don't care either way. Yeah. I'm not continuing nothing. I'm not forcing nothing. I'm allowing yeah. things to transpire organically. Yeah. And if a conversation happens later, great. If a conversation a conversation does not happen later, it's unfortunate. They don't. They said they will never come. Okay, well, that's over. unfortunate for them. Yeah. Yeah. They, it really they, is. They they don't. No it one really feels is. like talking anymore. Well, that's unfortunate for them. Do you see what I mean? Okay, but everybody experience things. Do you feel you see the voice? Yeah, I think giving a, a present and cooking dinner and making everybody feel welcome is such bully behavior. You're absolutely correct, Jackie. Mm -hmm. Buying 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 them gifts no. and not knowing them. No, in all fairness I'm gonna be honest Girl, 100%. Let's stop. <laughs> going forward I think I'm gonna just call it on the vacation. Um, never has this happened in the history of me taking anybody anywhere, but it has is, is something that can proceed forward because I mean, it's not so I mean, if like we're having a good time with the exception of OG, then why doesn't she do it and then just say to what it is? It's the same question I asked in San Diego in Amsterdam. And you didn't come to Costa Rica, so we had a blast the whole well, time. We're not there. We're here now. Yeah. Well, whatever the host wants to do, she can do. Well, the host is saying the other ladies are done. This one, you, you guys can't even sit in the same fucking room with each other. What are you talking I about? I feel like, huh? We're sitting in the same room, so that don't make no sense. Jen, she said you guys are sitting in the same room. Oh, yeah. I just don't know what's I don't know where her anger is coming from, so it's throwing me for a loop. A couple of nights ago, she was team OG, OG, it's not fair, and what they're doing is wrong, and slept on it and woke up to a whole nother beat. Um, my thing with OG is this right here, and I'm saying it's not going to go good. I don't think it's going to go good either way with everybody and their hands involved. What do you mean? It's not gonna go well either way. The <laughs> fuck are you laughing? Yo, this is It's pretty sad that she's laughing because she was in this she was in this position for the last ten years, so it's kind of sad. And I and I actually rocked with her. I remember wiping her tears off in San Diego. I remember she was like, "Oh gee." get Dom and, and don't let these girls hurt me in San Diego and I didn't. I remember talking to her in Amsterdam when she got a table thrown at her and, and I never laughed. When she got two, three drinks thrown at her in front of me, I never laughed. I never once allowed Jen to feel alone when it was apparent she was alone. So how oh, she yeah, is how she is and i haven't snapped at you that's the funny part you you've been the only one that's raised your voice you're you're mad and your energy i don't know where it's coming from like i said i don't know where her energy is coming from 
all I know is when Jen was getting attacked over and over and over again, I definitely, I'm not deflecting. (laughs) That's what I just said you were doing. Anyways, when Jen was getting attacked over and over again, I never laughed and I definitely tried to offer her some type. I Did I say that? I'm talking about the circumstances. I definitely was not um, a part of the problem. I was trying to be a sounding board for her. And I, I, no, uh, not really. It's okay though. It's okay. We're not the same. We're not the same person. Definitely. I didn't say anything about you. You were talking about me. I didn't say nothing about you. I started laughing. No, we're not talking about that. That's what you did right now. We're talking about earlier with Jackie and I. But um, for me, it's just girl. I'm not suing. (laughs) You see how twisted she is? Oh, girl, you are sick. You're sick, sweetie. You're the one that called me and was telling me how your friend Evelyn was the worst person under the sun okay. and if you remember that conversation i said nothing sure because i have been warned about you time and time again and okay. i still gave you the benefit of the but doubt guess what? i've been warned about, about you I'm not, I'm not, and i still gave you, with you ever again. jen i never called i've never called you in the three years i've known you okay. and you know that it doesn't matter. i've never you called you what, i've returned right a text here. message I'm fucking keeping never it called you it's very sad so anyways, like I was saying, I hear what the you're deal. saying, Jackie. I, I hear what you were saying. What I saying? And I, 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 whatever you want to do. Okay, go ahead. Because she started laughing. So. I feel, yeah, I feel like it's probably best if you remove yourself from the situation. Are you asking me to leave? I'm not telling you to leave. Okay. I'm saying, oh, gee. What would you like me to do? I would like you to remove yourself from this. So you're asking me to leave? Hostile. Okay. And I would like okay. you to not continue down this path so you're asking you're asking me to leave no but problem see, I mean, it's not if that's what you're doing just keep it 100 if you're saying oh this that and the third i would like you to leave then say that so that is very very clear and transparent i would like us all to get along i would like us all so to how do you want to do that medium, but there's no way for that to okay. happen. so then so you're asking me to leave i think i feel okay. and i'm saying feel I feel like that's the best thing. Okay. So, to be honest, I left my my workplace. I was working on stuff, donating masks. Oh, I know. I was with Kwame. I was happy. Um, he told me about the vacation. I was optimistic. I was open. Mm-hmm. Um, he told me about the two-house situation. It wasn't my idea, but I was optimistic. I was open either way. Mm-hmm. So it is what it is. If you are asking me to leave, I don't care. Either way, I just, you know. When people show me who they are, I will just believe that. But um, what I'm trying to say is, if that's a, that, if you feel that this trip can be salvaged with me not present, yeah. so be it. And then, however you guys proceed forward, you guys proceed forward. And it hurts my heart. Though, do you really it doesn't hurt my heart enough. because I think that this ex- that this would have been a perfect learning experience for everyone, and the opportunity has been missed. So. They'll feel, those who have been shut off, those who have flipped like a pancake, the opportunity has missed the boat. And only time will tell what the ramifications of that are. 